former CIA Deputy Director Michael Morell is a CBS News senior security contributor. Good morning. Good morning. So what do we know and what's the significance of the man who is the subject of this manhunt? Right. So um, he's significant for two reasons, right? If he is still at large, um, he's a bomb maker. He can make additional bombs, right? If he's been captured, and let's hope that's the case, then he will be able to tell authorities, if he's willing to talk, a lot of information. He was probably trained in Iraq and Syria. He was probably trained with a large number of other bomb makers who may also be at large in Western Europe. So he may, knew, may know who they are. So he may be able to provide authorities an awful lot of intelligence. Here's what concerns me. Terrorists have struck a European capital two times in the past four months. They're on a roll. You said yesterday they're winning. Right. Right. What's next? Um, this network in Europe is very large. Um, we're talking about 5,000 guys who went, to a, went from Western Europe to an Iraq and Syria to fight, right? Some of them are still there. Some of them have died on the battlefield. Some of them are coming home with battlefield experience, hardened jihadists, more radicalized. Um, they're the threat we now face. Um, Western intelligence, U.S., European intelligence simply don't know how many individuals are out there, how many cells are out there. They're worried. Because we're separated here in the United States by an ocean, does that make our city safer? So it's, so, so in the last 9 to 12 months, 15 months, ISIS has built this attack capability in Western Europe. Um, it's much more difficult for them to do that here for all sorts of reasons. Um, the Muslim communities um, here are nowhere near as isolated as they are there. It's much easier to get people there. They've had more people go fight. So it's much harder to do it here, Charlie, but it's not impossible. And if we don't degrade ISIS in Iraq and Syria and around the world, then we will face an attack like this someday here. Absolutely. Belton Authority is getting a lot of uh, criticism today for how they've handled it. This guy was in, hiding in plain sight. Is the criticism yes. fair? So I think some of the criticism is fair, but most of it's not. The criticism that is fair is the Belgian police don't do a good job of community policing, right, in these largely Muslim areas. They don't, they don't know the community, right, well, and, and they don't get the intelligence they need. But it's also unfair because their governments have not given them the resources they need to do all the surveillance that they required, and the job is huge. Michael Rell, good to have you here. Thank good you so much. Thanks, Mike.